I'm going to be honest, right now I feel like I'm a dentist. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to clean something dirty. You know, desperate times call for desperate measures. So I got some new cleaners in here today. The old standbys were on back order, probably due to the pandemic, so I had to figure out something else. No time like the present to try out a new product. I've had great feedback and suggestions, comments to try these Adams polishes out, so I figured why the heck not? We'll get in the wheel and tire cleaner here, as well as the undercarriage spray. This can also be used on the tires. So clean things off with this, clean it up and dress it up with this. You're also gonna see here a pretty cool little thing, goes right on your drill, just like that. Figured, hey, this could come in really handy on my wheels. I hate cleaning truck wheels. I don't know if you guys do or not, but just getting in all those little nooks and crannies, I figure maybe this can make an easier job out of it. All sorts of these things on Amazon. Links for all this stuff in the description below. Let's get to cleaning. Need to do some spring cleaning here on the truck. It's been a while besides running it through the wash a few times over the course of the winter. One of the things you're going to see as we go through here, there's some delamination on the, uh, the rim here, on the wheel here, right around the edge, all the way around here. So I got to file a claim here with Ford. You know, I've got to send this into the Ford dealer and see if we can get that corrected under warranty. But you guys having that problem too? Hey, if you like tractors, trucks, and trailers, then you might like this channel. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button below right underneath the video. Make sure to read through that description. There's going to be a lot of helpful links in there for products seen in this video. Links to the Amazon store and to my website as well. I'm going to go ahead and give this a real liberal spray all over the wheels and the tires. You know what? I'm going to try out the undercarriage as well here. Now, of course, if this was a nicer day out, I would take this outside, hook up the hose and rinse it all off. But being as it's not, I'm doing this kind of by hand here inside the shop. I do have the door open, but it's at least a little bit warmer in here. I did also restock on a bunch of brushes and things like that. There's one down in here. Yeah, this guy right here. See how it's got that curve to it there? I don't know, supposedly, you know, supposed to be easier on, you know, uh, forming to the surface of tires. So I'm gonna try that out on that, see what I think. And then I'm gonna use this guy here on the wheel. Probably have to get a little creative with one of these brushes just to scrub off everything down underneath there. All right, and now the fun part here. I'm gonna go ahead and get it wet first, just dunk it in the water, start cleaning. Oh yeah, I can see that's gonna make a mess. Definitely don't wanna go full more if you can avoid it. Around that valve stem. I'm going to be honest, right now I feel like I'm a dentist. Surprisingly, this brush is doing quite well, just getting in all those little tight spots too. Since I'm being extra lazy today, I'm gonna to head to the car wash just around the corner, rinse off this nasty stuff, let it dry off, and then I'm gonna apply the clean stuff. I could hook up the hose, I could hook up the power washer, but it's cold, nasty. I just don't feel like messing with it. I'll be right back. Oh, so I misspoke there. I went ahead and sprayed everything else all around here, figured if I'm going to the car wash to rinse everything off with the clean water, Let's get them all dirty here. Let's get everything applied and then we'll rinse it all off, bring it back, let it all dry out and do all the spray, the final spray at one time. 
Side note here, this holds 24 ounces. There's, oh, I don't know, uh, was there about three ounces, I guess, with this little hash mark down here. Maybe not quite three ounces left, so I used a good 20 ounces for all four tires here and the wheel wells and the wheels, okay? So a lot of product going on. I'm also pretty liberal when I apply this stuff. I'm not too concerned about sparing, you know, saving an ounce or two. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit everything I can on there. Just a point of reference. Okay, so things are pretty well dry here. Now, this is just after going to the, uh, the car wash and rinsing off there, and then I ran home real quick. Had to grab my, uh, my laptop and get back here to the shop to meet a customer, but been maybe 15, 20 minutes, something like that, and you can tell, you're gonna see some spots here right along these edges where I didn't do a good job uh, spraying the application on. And you can see there's definitely a difference there on the cleaning portion of it. Again, this is not a final finish spray, just the the cleaning portion of it there. The back wheels and, and tires and wheel wells and all that weren't as bad, um, but they still cleaned up nicely. I am really disappointed about this uh, delamination or whatever you want to call it right around the edges of the wheels though. Okay, so now it's time to apply the undercarriage spray. Also going to apply it obviously to the tires and then I'll just have to wipe it off of the wheels there, but this is uh, silicone infused apparently. so. What it's supposed to do is prevent dirt and salt and whatever else, I guess, from really adhering to it. It's supposed to help it uh, kind of just slide off or rinse off if it's kind of wet too. So hopefully this is a good product, time will tell, but um, definitely heard a lot of good things about the Atom cleaning products, so we're gonna give it a shot. If you guys know of a good product, an, an easy to apply product 
for wheels like this, you know, a, a sealer, protector, that kind of a thing that I can put on here that's easy to apply. I'm not looking for some labor intensive uh, applications, but sort of maybe like a spray or something along those lines that you've found really good success with. I would definitely be interested in trying that out. Leave a comment below. Hey, thanks so much for watching. You know, it's always fun to use some new products and see how they do. I suppose time is going to tell how this undercarriage spray works out in the long run. I am kind of excited to see if it does what it says it's going to do, which is really keep things clean underneath there, kind of help the, the mud, the dirt, and the grime slide off. So pretty excited about that one. You know, wheel and tire cleaner, I think it was pretty clear that this did a really good job. You can see the specific areas, especially in the wheel wells, where I had applied it versus where it hadn't been applied and just a big difference in there. This guy here was pretty cool as well. Definitely glad I got it. it comes with a couple of different uh, brush heads here as well that you can interchange for different applications, but worth its weight. I don't know, it was under 20 bucks, maybe it was 10 or 15 bucks, I feel like, but all sorts of these things on Amazon, links below for that as well. Hey, if you like what you see here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, read the description as well, all sorts of links to the Amazon store, to my website too. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe, we'll see you soon.